Now y'all are on the job and I get fired here. My business stay there. Glory to God. If God tell me to sit down for a while, I still got my benefit. I'm still on that way to heaven. While I'm still born again, I can have to sit down for a while. And because I did some wrong, and I go to that God, I'm sorry. The benefit there, when I repent, the put me back in my right place. Hallelujah, because I, I am entitled to all the benefit, even with the old sitting down. Uh, that's here today. Yeah. I want to work a miracle in your life. Yeah. I am Jehovah Rapha, the one that heal you. Yeah. I can do it right now. I can cause a miracle in your finance, Hallelujah. Yeah. If I said all pain will work for God of the good of them, the Lord, yeah. and call according to God, he said, I will do it. Yeah. Why? Because I'm God. Yeah. I'm God by myself. Yeah. I don't need none other. Yeah. Now remember that. When the Israelite, not the Israelite, but when the Pharisee took the took the uh, Ark of the Covenant, I got God taking it and put it upside day God. I think it there was day God. He was standing like they were looking so pretty that you my spiritual mechanist looking so pretty, and they brought the Ark of the Covenant to sit beside him, but they realized they didn't know what kind of power that they had standing beside day God. And so when they cut the light, you my spirit imagination, I got fired. And when they cut the lights off, how the next morning, when they came back to the day on the floor, God slapped them down. Hey, hey, hey. Right. God, don't so kill me, God. I ain't gonna work a miracle in this house of day. If you want a miracle, hallelujah. Because God talked to me this week, he said miracle, work and power. And then when they got in there, they raised up day God. And stood up when they thought it might be another accident. Amen. But when they came back the next morning, he was laying down. His head cut off. His arms cut off. God will cut off your enemy head. He will cut off sickness. I don't care what it is. He will tie it off. He will stop sickness from walking up and down if you if you want a miracle. He put everything in Adam to be the God of this earth. Do you hear me talk to you? Amen. Amen. You might say Adam messed up. Yeah, he messed up when he disobeyed God. Those things on the inside and went to sleep because he died. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> the smell, the fragrance of the Holy Ghost hey. in your house. Hey. The Holy Ghost hey. is the teacher. Teach you all things. He will teach you by the middle of working of dark power. He will teach you about healing. Because that's why he come here for. Over the book of St. John, round by the 14th chapter, and verse 26, he said, But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father was sent by my name, he said, I'll teach you all things. Bring things to your remembrance. Whatever I have taught you, when it teach you faith, you know, bring faith for it back. I said, when it teach you faith, you know, bring faith for it back. Because he's a faith of God. He wants to be just like him. And we're going to chill out the whole block. And he spoke the world in existence. We can speak our atmosphere. How's around us? In, in position. It's something that we want. We can claim it by faith. Faith. One thing about it, don't be like a dancer. Oh, in the book of Acts, hallelujah, chapter, hallelujah, Aaron, hallelujah, the kid of John and, and the kid of James, Todd and Feldman, but he had us out of here, Peter. But it was Easter day, it was a resurrection day, and they could not mess with him because they were fear of the Jews that they will do it tomorrow. But he failed to understand. God has a plan for the night. Hallelujah. And the devil's going to kill you tomorrow. But he don't know what's in God's heart. God's going to rescue you tonight. And tomorrow, 
the trap that is set for you. One and all folk will fall in that trap. Hallelujah. The angel came by night and he began to tap Peter on the shoulder. He was in chains, locked down. He said, bind up your soundness and come and follow me. Peter got up and didn't follow him. Peter would follow a vision. He didn't see it in the natural, but he saw it in the spirit. He was following the angel. Hallelujah. They went down by the Troy wall and down by the second wall and got to the fourth wall and then the angel went on by the bed. I guess Peter where he was, where he at now, but, but Peter realized he, he guided me to the place that I needed to go. And Peter, he knocked on the door. And there come a little dancer running. Come on, the door. I'm using my spirit of imagination. She said, who it is? Hey. Peter stood there. When she opened the door, I guess she jumped back because it was a pride in the hook. And they asked her, who is it? And she said, it looked like Peter. Hey. I come to tell you today, if you don't recognize your, your answer from prayer, it'll go somewhere else. The Bible tells us to watch and pray that we won't enter into temptation. Hallelujah. That girl sound, sound like Peter. Hey, glory. One thing about it, I thank God for Jesus Christ that came down for us two years for the generation. Hallelujah. Came as a baby. Grow up to be a man. He got baptized by John the Baptist. The one that came to pass away. I'm free, ready to be credit for pass away. Hallelujah. And what he did, he was passing away from John. But John said, came to Jesus, came to Jesus, came to John. So I want you to baptize me. And John said, baptize you. I need to be baptized of thee. The reason John recognized him, and God told him there would be a man coming to you, and you would baptize him. And John Jesus suffered all things to be true, but we got to fulfill all the rights of God. And John baptized him. There come a voice from heaven. God said, this is my beloved son. And then one day, he went into Jesus. And there come a dove and lit upon him. There was a third person of a Godhead body. He was already, she was already in the water. And the Father came and gave him the voice. He came and anointed him. He went about doing good, healing all manner of sickness, casting out demons, speaking the word of God by faith. Hallelujah. For a recognizing the spirit. And so when he got them together, he blew on them and said, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. The 20 chapter, John 22. Hallelujah. And so when he blew on them, he wanted them to recognize the rushing, the mighty wind that coming on the day of Pentecost. The Bible said, in the second chapter of Acts, there come a rushing and mighty wind on the day of Pentecost and fear the whole house. The Bible said that a tongue lit upon them. Hallelujah. And all of them again filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in tongue and the Spirit gave them others. I sent some people in the house of God today scared of the tongue. Think they're going to mess up Hallelujah. A baby don't know how to talk. A baby for he learned how to say words. Hallelujah. God by the Holy Ghost gonna teach you how to speak in tongue. He come back and teach you all things. Whatsoever he said unto you. Don't be scared. That is your communication. Direct to 
God. It will bypass your mind. Satan don't know what you're saying. He'll try to imitate you. But you don't know what you're saying. Get your language and talk to God. I made a decree today in the name of Jesus. That everyone in here is going to be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Did you hear that man? Yeah. But what Jesus did, follow me. What Jesus did, come on, yeah, follow me. What Jesus, don't try to do it now. Follow me. Follow me outside. And what Jesus did, he got him outside the gates of the room. And then he spit it in and put it over his eye. Jesus. No, back it up. He put it in his eye first. He said, what do you see? I see men look like trees. But it's still in hand and put over his eyes again. Mm. Mm. Then the you say, I can't see clearly now. The dog is in God. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. I can see clearly now. The devil is gone. I can see clearly now because the rain is gone. that now it is high time to awaken out of sleep. Now is our salvation nearer than when it was before. Amen. Yes, it is. Yes, it is shown up near than what it was before. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And then the next scripture here, the next scripture will be out of the book of uh, uh, Philippians 4 and 5. He just say amen. Y'all, my, 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 uh, measuring change the most of teaching. He said, let your moderation be known unto men, all men, the Lord is at hand. The Lord is at hand. So let it be known to all men. Amen. In other words, Amen. Let people know about Jesus Christ. Let them know who you is by the lifestyle that you live. You ain't got to always voice out your mouth. They don't believe you ain't got to tell them nothing. Mm -hmm. They should know that you are the child of God by the way you live your life. Amen. Amen. He said, but, he said, we believe, we believe the Lord may come at any time. Therefore, we must be ready, working and watching at all times. Man, your sin is forgiven me. Hallelujah. He didn't lay down hand on him. He just spoke the word. Just like a centurion soldier came to Jesus. He was even under the covenant. He was outside the Jewish covenant. But he had faith in Jesus. He heard about Jesus. Because the Bible said faith come by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. He heard about Jesus. How he was working a miracle. How he was laying hand on the sick. He went to him. He said, Lord, my servant lied home sick of a palsy. He said, I will come and heal him. He said, Lord, don't come. I'm not worthy. He come up on my chest. One thing about that man, he recognized authority. He said, I got soldiers under me. If I tell them to go, they will go. If I tell them to come here, they'll come here. Just speak the word. And I serve happy. What you got to stand here for is to speak the word. I decree the day. Whoever needs a healing shall be healed in the name of Jesus. Father, you said that you told me words are deeds do all in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. So I speak healing in this church in the name of Jesus. God deeds got a bad book. Apparatus got to get out of here. That ache got to leave. Knee ache got to leave. Whatever kind of ache you got, it got to leave. The only way it won't leave, your faith ain't got there. Your faith need to get there. So you can be oh here.
the spirit of man. God said, you were man, but it's man's problem. Come 
Christ, I gave you faith out of grain of mustard seed. You will say to this mountain, be thy captain and sin. He said, I obey you. A little bit of seed, a little bit of faith, I will make things happen because of a little faith. I will cause pain to grow up in you. Hallelujah. Because of your little faith. If you think you can cause pain to grow up in you, when you go out there and plant your God, the you seed must die and burst open for anything to come up. If you can do that, don't you know you can do it through his word? First hope in you. Yeah, it will cause you to grow up. Yeah. It might take time. For it to grow up, you make a lot of wise a lot of wise take time. You know, I got to make the root go down. Make the main root go down. The another root go straight down. You know, under the ground and water and water. I'm not gonna let you come up yet. I gotta spread these legs out right here. Because I planted the root and now you ain't ready for the baby to come up. Take it over there. Take it over there. Things are going to come up. The seed of faith that is planted on the inside a call root now. And it's ready to come out. You'll begin to talk faith. I believe in faith. But my God told me in 2 Corinthians 5, 7, 5, 5, uh, 5, 7. Walk by faith and not by sight. Down here, I'm walking by faith, not by sight. When I get the whole hell, I'm going to see everything. I'm going to walk by sight. I'm going to walk by faith down here. I see everything. If you don't praise him, I praise him by myself. If you don't praise him, I praise him by myself. Listen, if you don't love him, I love him by myself. If you don't love him, I love him by myself. If you don't love him, I love him by myself. If you don't love him, I love him by myself. Come on, help me. If you're not saved, amen, I can help you today if you only just listen to what I got to say. Amen. Praise the Lord. In Romans 10 and 9 says in these words that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession and made unto salvation. And drop down to verse 13. For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Oh, so I don't believe in it. Just say it with me. Father, I know that I'm a sinner. And I know I need saving. I believe in, I believe that you, Jesus, Father, I believe that you raised me from the dead. And Lord God, I believe in the death, burial, and resurrection. Amen. So save me today. Jesus, come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. So I admit I'm a sinner. I admit I believe. And I'm confessing you as Lord of my life. Come into my heart. Today I believe I'm saved according to the scripture. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God bless you. <coughs> I want to read the blessing of God. Luke 6 and 34 says, Give, and it shall be given you good measure, uh, pressed down, and shaken together, and run over. Amen. Shall men give you a little? For with the same measure that you meet, why should you measure you again? For live before 19. But my God shall supply all your needs according to a rich and glory 
by Christ Jesus. Psalm 23 and 1 says, The Lord is my shepherd. Oh, he, he my shepherd, y'all. My shepherd. Oh, okay. I shall not want. Amen. Psalm 34 and 35, 35 and 7, 27 say, Let them shout for joy. Yay! Yeah! Hey! Glad. I pray my right to call. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which have pledged in the prosperity of his servant. Yeah. John 10, 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. Look at the neighbor. neighbor. Thank God Thank for God. the whole flock. This is something that the Lord designed for us. In the name of Jesus, I thank you today. And now, Father, I ask now if I have sinned against you or anyone around me, Lord, I ask you to forgive me, wash me, and cleanse me in the blood of Jesus. I may be able to be partaken of this broken body and shed of blood. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. So we look at this in the book of uh in the book of uh First Corinthians, Paul was saying right here in the uh, 11th chapter, amen, and the 20, 23rd verse down to 25, 26. He said, and for I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you that the same, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was portrayed, took bread, and when they gave it thanks, he said, he broke it and said, take eat, this is my body, which is broke for you. This do remembers of me, eat all of it. Amen. And down in verse 25, he said in these words here, and after the same manner also he took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, this cup is a New Testament in my blood, this do ye as often in remembrance of me, drink ye all of it. And then he reminds us in verse 26. He said, for as often as you eat this, eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord death till he come. He ended with a prayer. Father, we thank you. And Father, we bless your people while they're inside these walls. But Lord God, we know, Lord God, that they closed the doors of the church. But Father God, they did not close the church. Amen. Because we are the church. Bless us all while we go through our trials and check and help us continue to trust in you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Know that I love you and I miss you. See you later. God bless you.